new era of Oregon football kicks off tonight in Eugene. Willie Taggart has arrived at Autzen Stadium as his Oregon Ducks prepare for their first test of 2017. It comes from the Big Sky Conference. The Thunderbirds of Southern Utah and the Ducks of Pac-12 football presented by Mitsubishi. Welcome to the Willie Taggart era at Oregon. From one yard in, Brooks James will bring it out. Gets a block at the 20. Cuts to his right. Tony Brooks James. All the way. One hundred and one yard. So far, so good. You want to do something? How about take the opening kick of 2017 for a house call? Are you kidding me? They want to get rid of that taste so bad that it happened from jump. With Royce Freeman behind him, the most accomplished active running back in college football. He slides through one, he gets through two, and he rolls out across to the 40-yard line. Up for the Heisman is a downhill running back. To the air on second down. Lofted ball far sideline. Breland makes the catch with a flag down. Jacob Breland, a redshirt sophomore tight end. So a new set of downs for the Ducks. Herbert hands off. Fly sweep. Charles Nelson turns it up. And he crashes down to the 20. Thunderbirds show blitz. Herbert throws behind it. Throws behind Breland. No problem. Touchdown. Ducks. Breland was Herbert's favorite target all spring. It continues into the fall. Watch the eyes of Justin Herbert. Okay, fake the zone read. Eyes always downfield. Second reaction type play. Incredible adjustment by his tight end. And one exclamation point to a drive that had so much variety. Ducks behind the chains on second down. Bootleg out of it. Herbert with all day. An open space. He whips it downfield inside the 30. A first down grab. Malik Lovett out of bounds. This uh, old naked route. Oh. That right foot down. Solid possession all the way through contact. Catch. Right foot. Officials all over it. They're clearly they're going to take a look at that. Look at every single play. To me, JB, on that look right there, I think that's a catch. After review, it was determined that the receiver was in bounds and it was a completed catch. The ball be placed at the 29-yard line. First down. Interesting, Herbert here has Kanai Benoit in the game as his back Tony Brooks James split out in the slot to his right. He's the motion man. Play action. Herbert gets out to his right and he can scramble. Out of bounds with a first down. Brought an attitude to that, that position group. Twin stack to each side. Here it is on the ground. Benoit makes a move. And he's down at the 10. He said, look, this is a downhill team. We're going to play with power. Downhill into the end zone. Kanai Benoit caps another Ducks drive. Tommy throws his slant and drilled immediately as the ball arrived. McCoy Hill, the tight end. First chance to talk about Troy Dye. Euro's defensive MVP from last year moves from outside to inside in the 3-4. Well, the biggest difference is when you get inside, there's so many different keys for a linebacker. Now this Jim Levitt defense, four-man rush, and they get home. The Ducks are off the field with a sack on third down. Jonah Moy leads the way. Take a look at Henry Mondu right here. This is a captain. You'll see him right there at the bottom of your screen. He's going to loop all the way around. Incredible burst for this young man. He's so excited to get in. That's perfect. One step up, boom. All of a sudden, his burst, his intensity allows Jonah Moy come from the opposite side. That, to me, is an effort play. Freeman gets the first touch, and he gets the edge, and he's got a first down. He didn't feel great about what happened here. Why don't you come back? Didn't take him long to say yes. Right down the middle. How absurd that he wasn't one of 60. But really in the weight room is where he's really become more vocal around this team. To the sideline and the catch for Dylan Mitchell. Second down for the 17. Tony Brooks James makes a move. 
First and goal, Oregon. Third down in a mile. 31 yards for the Ducks. Screen left. They've got Freeman. He's got blockers, but he's got a long way to go. Bit of field position. Freeman the lone back. He gets the carry. He gets the call, and he gets the touchdown. Fourth down one. Tyler, nowhere to go. Track down from behind, Justin Hollins. And the Ducks will take over at midfield. Having a 4-3 front, you'll see Hollins at the bottom of your screen. And this is all effort right here. She's here pushing and pushing and pushing. And that's what defensive line is, JB. How much do you love it? Can you compete and keep going relentless? Because when you're going and you're just pushing the edge, that's when all the other layers of the defense are flying from inside out. But Herbert, well, he's sneaky athletic. This is a guy, when he talked to me, thought his career was going to be in baseball. Inside handoff. Can I Ben Law? Tough running inside the 40. First down, Ducks. The second down and 10. Johnny Johnson the third alone at the top as a freshman receiver as Herbert on the keeper. A two yards shy of the sticks. The next opponent is Mike Riley and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. There goes Benoit. Down the seam into the end zone. 29 yards for Benoit. Corn plays is all about setting up the defense. The previous snap, it's a quarterback run. That snap, it's a zone read. Is the quarterback going to keep it? Is he going to hand it? You'll see it just because he does that. He freezes those outside defenders right there, and all of a sudden there's a crease, and away Oregon goes to the end zone. That's a really nice job. 21 lined up in the backfield. Next to Herbert in the shotgun. Here's a hitch and a throw down the middle. Nelson makes the catch. First down through the air. But to So from across midfield, here's first down. Herbert delivers. Catch is made. Nelson on the move. And lassoed inside the 25. A simple post route by Charles Nelson route they work on every single day. They fake it his way. And now throw into the hole, Dylan Mitchell. It's the same play they tried on the last drive, and the pass was too low. Chance Bierson walk all the way out. Freeman. Got a lane. Touchdown. Ducks. And his fourth consecutive dating back to last year. And if you're Oregon, what you want to try to do is Get things over on your half. You know, work that left, that top side of the screen right there. Look at the first screen on first down. Freeman makes the catch, gets through an ankle tackle, breaks to the sideline, and he's spilled at the 45. This is third down and eight. Time for Herbert. And his receiver, Breland, sits down right in the middle between the hash marks and moves the chains. Sets the Ducks up on the 13, first and 10. Take the handoff to Lovett, give it to Freeman, and he rides it into the end zone for another score. Another tight end, you'll see him flash your screen, 87. Ryan Bay, he pulls. Royce Freeman follows that big, big tight end. He's 17 to go, third quarter. Herbert with all day, launches downfield. Behind the defense, the catch is made by Nelson. First and goal inside the five. A clean 50 through the air, Herbert to Nelson. Fly sweep. Oh, he hit the brakes. Did he find the end zone? He did. <laughs> Nelson crosses the goal line for the score. Only two down linemen. They throw down the line low. Catch made, but Landon Mason is collared, and it's fourth down. Nice grab by Neeson, but the trigger of Billy Gibson, it's impressive. I mean, he, he's a dynamic athlete. I mean, the young players here, JB, they're big time. And play as consistently as he has, not only tonight, but the rest of his career, the rest of the season is impressive. Freeman still getting touches. First down from inside the 40. Herbert moves the pocket, throws inside the 10, and it's caught. With a flag down, Johnny Johnson the third for 37 yards. Johnny Johnson, a dynamic athlete. He does so many unique elements. Comes out of Chandler High School. He's cultivated so many players in the Pac-12 Conference. And 
You're right, JB. Early on in training camp had the drops. A lot of receivers do because now. See if Freeman and Herbert can punch it in. Angle from the one over the pile. Make it four for Royce, Freeman, and the opener. 15 minutes back on the clock. Here we go. It's a solid run. Can I bend while weaving down the near sideline? And he's inside the 40. He and, as you referenced, the starting quarterback. Look at the vision of Ben Wow. <laughs> One more cut to the outside. And he finds Peter No, just down inside the one. But what patience. What patience. Set my block, trust my O-line. Oh, cut back, so I put my foot in the ground. And let me show you that little burst that I got. First and goal. Back to Benoit. And he's in. Great patience, great vision, offensive line, getting extremely physical. Take Aaron's Wallen in the shotgun for second down. Blitz from the corner, and down he goes. Amadi got there for another duck sack. I mean, again, this is when you have so much fun. This front seven is having a blast because of the pressure up the middle from guys like team captain Henry Mondu. Really everything counts regarding their evaluation and these young guys continue to provide the competitive depth necessary. Swallen gets out of it, but not for long. Backside pursuit, Mondu gets a sack on third down and long. Is that they're keeping their starters in. You know, Henry Mondu's a team captain and he's working and he's working and he's working regardless of what the scores are 70 points on the scoreboard, and he's playing like it's the Pac-12 championship. It's a 37-yard field goal attempt from the right hatch. It's blocked. The Ducks need to just get away from it. Play, and it just happened to be the first play of the entire 2017 campaign. Darren McNeil on the fly sweep. Got a great block on the edge, and he turns the corner for a first down that you expect to play. You want the ball in your hands, and he's a former quarterback as well. Alley chucks it. Far side, catch made in front of the Ducks' sideline. And stepping out of bounds with a catch, Alex Ofadale. A limited availability during the spring. And, and I think his role is going to be huge, and it has been already. I mean, keep in mind, he's from the same high school as Justin Herbert. You need somebody to talk to. You need an outlet. And I think when you're looking at Taylor Alley, and then more specifically, Marcus Arroyo, the quarterback's coach. How about that throwback? Brooks James with nothing but Twilight. Inside the 30. Keep that thought going, Yogi, because it's a good one. But what a play, too, by Taylor Alley, you know. The, the standard set, calmness in the pocket, and, and it's taught from the quarterback's coach, Marcus Arroyo. Marcus Arroyo also started as a freshman when he was at San Jose State. He's got an incredible career. He called plays at a young age in the National Football League, tutored by Jeff Tedford. So he's been in spotlights in pressure type situation. What a block Brooks James got. Well, after last season's record and how it finished, obviously the change in coaching staff that needs to come in and build the morale before he can build the X's and O's. How he dances in. The flag down across the field at the one yard line. Is the one on the far right, which is Josh Rosen. I can't wait to see that. He'll be the last tomorrow. one we get to see on this Labor Day weekend. From Eugene, the Oregon Ducks win their opener 77 to 21.